Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. The reading that we're doing today is inspired by the Aries full moon that is happening on October 13th, 2019. But at this point, especially if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you guys have probably realized by now that the majority of my readings don't have a time stamp to them or an expiration date. They're pretty timeless. So that if you approach this reading or if you cross paths with this reading at any point along your journey and it's not at the time of the future because <laughs> what is time anyways then it is okay this reading is right and good for you now I don't want to take any more time speaking of time talking I want to dive into this reading because I have some cards pulled out for us the first thing I want to say is that when we're working with Aries energy now again this is if you're working, if you're watching this video to prepare for the Aries full moon, or if you cross paths with it at a time in your life where you need to hear it, you need to receive the message. But when you're working with the Aries, Aries energy, it's all about a start of a new cycle. And I feel intuitively that this start is the culmination of everything that has brought you to this point right here, right now, no questions asked. I feel that, okay, so the first thing I wanna say before I even dive into that, before I even dive even further into that is, I don't know why this is coming through first and foremost, but I can't ignore it, is what is it, like the questions that it is that you're asking yourself or the questions that you're asking the universe that you've been putting out to the divine, it's like there's, there's why are you asking those questions? There is a reason why you're asking those questions. There's a reason why that question is placed in your consciousness. It, it's a question that your subconscious, your intuitive, your intuitive self, your higher self is placed in your, the forefront of your mind and your intuitive eye to start to ask it, to start to seek it so that you can find clarity, so that you can find direction. I feel at the time of you watching this video, there is at least, and also for me, we're exiting out of a cycle in our lives. I've been seeing the Wheel of Fortune a lot lately for my readings for myself, my readings for you guys, and my readings for my clients. And the Wheel of Fortune is a card that is not about, you know, this new, um, you know, good luck. It's not about good fortune. It's about the halfway point in your journey. Maybe it doesn't have to be your entire life, but the halfway point in your journey where before you take a few steps forward, it is a part of your karma and your fate. It's written in the stars. It's something that is unavoidable for you to stop, to pause, to reflect. And then in that moment, when you start asking those questions, emphasis on the word questions, um, the answer that you come to yourself is going to set the stage for the next cycle. It's going to open the door for the next um, cycle within your life. I feel at the time of you watching this video, at the time of you receiving this message, you are being called by a light. It's reminding me of the Hermit card within the Major Arcana, within the Tarot deck, where this person has been moving through the darkness, moving through their life, and they come to a point where they are trying to find an answer to the questions that internally that it is that they're seeking. I feel as though, again, back to what as I said, the, what I was saying from the beginning is that these questions that are all of a sudden that you're being called to ask right now, it's no coincidence. It's because your timing, the cycle in your life is to start to seek, to at least start to be aware, to observe them. Now, there's two things that I'm coming, that are coming to me after that. Ignore the noise in the background. I'm sorry about that. I'm outside. I'll just speak a little louder. But there's two things that come to me with that. I feel as though this question that you are being called to ask yourself, or it's like this plaguing like voice or this plaguing image, this plaguing vision that you keep seeing, that you keep experiencing, that you're seeing synchronistic signs of, it's not, again, it's not for no reason. It serves a purpose because this is showing you what the next stage in your journey is going to look like and what's supposed to look like. Now, as you're saying goodbye and as you're relinquishing this old, this old energy, 
this phase of your life that is that you're exiting out of now you could almost feel pain by asking yourself these questions by asking yourself for direct asking the universe asking your guides for direction as far as what it's going to look like moving forward and the reason why is because the world as you know it how you have perceived yourself and how you perceived others and how you perceived your success and what your life would look like is going to change again this is because the divine the universe your astrology chart whatever it is that you want to call it has so much written in the stars for you has so much in store for you and sometimes our physical aspects like the physical aspects of ourselves the human aspects of ourselves are so limited and we can't see all of the potential that is there so when we end something we almost feel so much pain and suffering because we're like number one we're challenged to, to grow number two we're walking into the unknown number three we're saying goodbye to all that we've been accustomed to both good and bad I mean there's just and then number four there's like all this growth that is happening physically emotionally spiritually and anytime when there is fast growth and rapid growth like lightning it is painful think about you know people who go through puberty and they go through a growth spurt and their emotions are all over the place some things trigger it but it doesn't take a whole lot to trigger it but it's very it can be very painful because so much of you is stretching and and that is because your consciousness is stretching this is not only physical and mental and emotional this is spiritually you're being stretched you're being like and it's fast it's rapid fire and that is because again it's a it's you're entering into this new cycle you're entering into this new stage and that is the connection to the energy of Aries because Aries it reminds us whether you're a Virgo a Gemini a Taurus a Capricorn an Aquarius a Pisces a cancer whatever your whatever your Sun sign whatever your moon sign whatever your rising sign Aries energy is still present within your chart and Aries energy what's going on in the stars is always going to impact us down here below and whenever we enter into a space where we are reminded of what Aries energy brings it's it's a reminder of it's time for you to be brave it's time for you to be confident and bold it's time for you to take that step forward sometimes when we think of being brave or being fearless we think that we have to be reckless we think that we have to just you know take this giant leap and just say fuck it all and just risk it all sometimes the biggest leaps of faith are not so demonstrative they're not so loud sometimes they're internal they're quiet and it's a a yes or a no a commitment that you make to yourself a commitment that you make to another person or you setting the wheels in motion and just a, and having an agreement with yourself that says listen I release this I relinquish this and I'm giving myself a chance to have faith in my future and to build for my future and to believe the vision that it is that I have for myself is true and I'm going to call it out I'm going to set intention I'm going to give it energy so that it can grow so that it can thrive so that I too can match this greater vision that is written for me within the stars that's a lot to take in I mean I haven't even looked at the cards yet but that was intuitively what it was that I was but that I've been picking up on there's two things that I felt called to carry today at the time of me filming this one is carnelian and this supports the root and the sacral chakra and then this tiny acorn and this little acorn is so wild because I'm pretty sure it came and dropped from this huge ass tree that's behind me it's a tiny little seed like this that can start something so big so solid so grand and all it needs is the right foundation the right light the right water the right being in the right place at the right time to create something and all of that potential lies within it that's not something that can be taken away from it it's just needs to be in the right place at the right time and I feel as though a message that you guys need to receive right now is that right now currently your rooting like your roots are being 
pulled into a space that is solid, that is sound, that has structure to create something so big, so grand and lasting. It will provide shade, it will provide safety, it will provide coolness, it will provide abundance, it will provide life to it, it will provide energy. All of these things right now that you are stepping into, this vision that you have, this tiny seed, is what is going to cement itself, what's going to ground itself, and it's going to grow, it's going to prosper. This is a symbol, a symbolism, because that's how our universe works. That's how our minds work. That's how the divine works, is that it works in the, what it is like subconscious sometimes. It's these subconscious signs that help to point you in the right direction, to help to guide you along your way. And a lot of those things come from your feelings. So sometimes, again, it's, not that you can see it right away or you you can see the growth like looking at this acorn you can see it for what it is it's so tiny it's strong but you can't see the tree yet you can envision it because you've seen it happen before you've seen it happen to other people or you've seen the signs of it happen before or it has happened so if it has happened in the past it's going to happen for you but you all you need to do is be able to see it so Right now, you can see that this acorn is just a seed. It's tiny, but you know for a fact that if it has the right environment, that it will grow into something massive. It will grow into something big. That is what your faith and your vision and these signs are providing for you right now. And I feel like, back to what it was that I was saying originally at the start of this video, is that these questions that have been implanted in you that you're noticing that you're asking yourself they serve a deeper purpose because something is being ignited something is being sparked here something is being um you know pulling you and guiding you to want more for yourself and to at least be able to see it first but you can't see it and you won't know it if you don't feel it if that makes any sense now let me go ahead and dive into the cards that it is that i pulled okay the first cards that I'm seeing are the strength card, the magician, and the four of wands. Now, the four of wands is really important. Like the magician card and the strength card, of course, but the four of wands is something that I want to start with. The four of wands is about stability, structure, and I always look at this card and I say, this is where I belong. This is what is for me. This is not something that's going to be taken from me because it is mine. This is not something that was appointed me by people. This was appointed me, appointed to me by the divine. It was appointed to me by God. It was given to me by God. And what God or the divine or the universe pulls together, all of the forces of the universe pull together, nothing should take it apart. Not human, not anything. Nothing should be able to split it apart. And I feel as though for many of you guys, with the Magician card and the Strength card. Now, even though they're major arcana, I feel like they are actually playing a supporting role to what is the center of this, which is the Four of Wands. This, when I see the Four of Wands, I see this as the dirt that the acorn, the seed, is going to root itself into, that is going to grow. It's the Magician, your personal power, that intense, like, amount, like this intense, amount of tremendous power that it is that you hold within you it's your vision it's your feelings it's your emotions it's your logic it's your your effort your ability to put into and to invest in it all of those things are things that you have now that are going to help you to co-create and to manifest and to call out and to receive ultimately your vision your your vision this blessing that it is that you have for yourself the next card that i'm that i pulled is receptivity and this is about your ability to receive and it's all about your ability to allow others to receive from you but it has to be what is belonging to you it has to be what is for you what is destined for you or else you're going to be pouring into um, an empty cup or things are going to be suckling from your life force energy that it doesn't, they don't need to have access to your energy. So these are things that ultimately, with the, what it is that we're walking away from is Kali. She's the goddess of total destruction. It is not destruction for the sake of destruction because she likes to see things rotten and she likes to create a mess. It's because 
she is the representation she is a symbol of the universe this higher power manifested like materializing in a way that is so nurturing and so protective of you that it will do all that it can in its power to make sure that you are not in a space that is draining you that is taking from you that is going to block your success that's going to block your blessing that is going to deplete you of what how you are to be a blessing to others and how others are going to be a blessing to you so Kali Ma and I love her I don't know if you guys have known this about me but she's come to me multiple times at at, for me along my journey she'll show up and she'll say boldly straight to your face she'll say tell me what it is that you know show me who has hurt hurt you T show me what you know needs to be surrendered I will crush it I will destroy it the obstacle it doesn't exist because I will crush it and through that crushing process there is something that new that is always born and I feel as though if that truly is the case I am I'm feeling that you know what we're walking away from and what you are releasing are things that I feel I, I don't even want to say that I'm not trying to be rude but they're like bored they're things that you may have had in your life that you love but the energy around it is bored it's it's already served its purpose like it's done it's doesn't have any power to it it doesn't have any life to it, it doesn't have any passion to it that could be an aspect of something within your life. But I feel as though for some of you guys, it's you know this thing that you keep feeding into, you keep giving energy to, that it needs to be crushed. And it's a total, the word that just came through as I said that is rebellion. It almost is, it's like you have to rebel and step away from what you're accustomed to or what other people expect you to do. And, and then just deviate from that, totally deviate from that and move into a new direction and that is a new horizon it's a feeling it's something again like when i'm seeing the card i heart you it's something that you truly love it's something that has no comparison it's something that once you get there you know it you feel it before you get there you know it you feel it and it's truly written in the stars now if you need further confirmation and clarity I don't even want to look into the past yet I want to look into what the universe and God is you know calling us to hear now we see the Sun card we see the stars and we see the high priestess now the first thing that I want to say is that there are a series of events and circumstances and challenges that have been presented to you that are there for the sole purpose of providing guidance of providing insight into who you are into you understanding yourself in a more intimate level and also you understanding the world and others on a more intimate level and also you understanding the divine on a more intimate level we are not created in this life to go it alone we are not created in this life to be self-sufficient or totally independent from each other or from God or from the divine or from the universe or from this higher power we are not that awesome I mean we are but we are not at the same time like we're still human at the end of the day so we have to call on this higher power higher, higher power around us and within us right so there are some certain things with the high priestess the star first I want to start with that that it's only in the darkness meaning like the unknown what we don't know that we are going to explore and experience the most we're gonna get so much from it we're gonna get so much enlightenment we're gonna get so much growth but a lot of times it's not initial like we don't see it right away but we're navigating through it so I really want to show you guys and tell you guys that this any type of darkness that you are relinquishing that you're letting go of and I'm not even gonna look at the past yet those I have those cards pulled but anything that's from the darkness and there is darkness here because Kali Ma was the first one to come through whatever this darkness has provided especially with the high priestess it has always served a purpose it has always been for your higher evolu evolution and you want to look towards that light as I'm saying that I got brought right back right back to the original the start of this video a start of this message where I said it's the question 
you're being asked, you're being called to ask a question or there's a question in your mind or there's a vision in your mind. There's something that is that you're seeing, a subconscious, a sign, a signal that is, un, you can't ignore it. There's no way that you can ignore it. It's like seared in with a hot blade. It's like blazing, it's fire. It's like trying to walk by a burning building and pretending like you don't see it. There's smoke, there's all types of signs that the house is on fire. Now when I say it's on fire, I'm not saying that it's a negative thing. I, I think, or it's a bad thing. It's something that is so unavoidable. Like you just, you, you have no choice but to see it. It's in your heart. It's a feeling. It's a thought. It's in your dreams. It's something that you want for yourself. Again, you might look at it and you can only see the seed of it right now. And you wonder how the hell is this going to turn into a tree? How long is it going to take? If I do plant this, how long will it take for this to manifest? It's not about time, because we're not talking about time at the time of this reading. We're talking about potential. We're talking about your potential. We're talking about this new cycle that is that you're walking in. That's all you need to know. We're not rushing it, and I'm not saying that it's gonna be slow. I'm just saying that it's happening. That's all you need to know. But it's through this darkness that is teaching you a lot, and it's in those darkened moments, that quiet, that sacred, oh, look at that, right underneath that, that sacred space, that quiet space, at your altar, at church, um, with the high priestess, wherever it is that you go for clarity, confirmation, um, answers, counsel, meditation, yoga, where the going for a walk, walking your dog, going for a bike ride, whatever it is that you need to do in order to get to that sacred space within yourself and to connect with the divine as you're navigating through this right now, because that's what the divine is calling to you right now, is to, you know, go to that sacred space again and ask those questions don't ignore them you couldn't ignore them even if you wanted to like you couldn't it's the burning building you couldn't ignore it you're being that you're navigating through it right now and the sun card is further confirmation and clarity this is so major like literally these are all the major arcana at the very top the sun card is saying look there is life behind those questions the high priestess guards the unknown she guards the things that you may not understand right away she guards it because it's a secret she guards it because it's sacred she guards it because if everybody saw it they would jump on it they would rip it apart it's like this spirituality community right now how it's turning into like the next starbucks there's some people that are not going to explode overnight that's because if they did their own safety their own messages their own sacredness is going to be compromised and that i don't mean to you know not i'm not throwing shade or anything like that but we're seeing this a lot in the spiritual community. The spirituality is turning into Starbucks. It's ridiculous. But there's some of us, again, that it's like you're called to a higher purpose and you're not meant to get caught up in the way that everyone else is going into. You have to strike out. You have to go your own way. You have to ask questions. You have to push back. You're not a blind follower. I'll leave it at that. The other thing that I want you guys to hear is these two cards that says, I go where you go and you will be surprised. This is, again, it's, it, to me, I feel like this is in the present moment because this represents what the divine is trying to teach you and trying to show us what, what we're supposed to be downloading right now. It's in the present, but it's also in the future. It's like, I don't believe that time truly exists. We always have to stay in the moment. But I feel like it's where you're, where we're walking towards, where our energy is guiding us. And it's when it says, you will be surprised, I go where you go. I just feel as though it will truly make sense. Again, because the star card and the high priestess and the sun card, all of those things will come to light and they will make sense why they happened. And it's, again, it's not always for you to understand how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Just know that it is going to happen. A part of you will be surprised by it like I did not know that this was in my destiny I did not know that, th that this was in my in the stars but the other part of you is not surprised the other part of you knew it it's just interesting how it all unfolds that's where we're going that's where you're going so a lot of you guys need to have this confirmation to help you to move forward we're not done yet there's more cards that I want to talk about I don't even want to talk about the past right now, but I just feel like I'll briefly dive into it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. So, really quickly, I will say that 
there's space that needs to occur. There's space that needs to happen. Part of it is because you need to stand on your own two feet. The other part is the universe wants you to thrive. There's certain things, certain people, certain circumstances that would take away your ability to thrive. This is the moon card, the nine of pentacles, and the ace of cups. Sometimes, I don't know why this is coming through, but sometimes the same things that you are pulled towards and that you're attracted to, to are the same things that would catch you, capture you, and pull you down. And the universe knowing that, again, being so abundant and so highly protective, Kali Ma is the most protective of them all. I've worked with her so many times before. She scares the shit out of everyone, but she's never scared me, thank goodness. She's always come through very protective and very nurturing, but you don't even realize how the no's in your life that have shown up have been there to protect you and have, have crushed danger, have ripped you out of the hands, ripped you out of the mouth of the monster, and you don't even realize it, you don't even know it. And I think the reason why this happens is sometimes if we knew how close we are to danger, how close we are to destruction, and how close we are to being a victim to certain things and to certain people, we would be more locked up in fear. And I feel like with that, ignorance is bliss. I feel as though the universe, when I see this card of Kali Ma, I see the universe being benevolent and I see it being in everything. It is always working <clears throat> to direct you and to guide you. And there are some things that you don't need to know because if you knew them, if you knew what it was, it would scare you and just trust the fact that the universe crushed them for a reason, for your own benefit. And just realize that again, when you are rocketed somewhere else and you're emotionally up, you're emotional about it, you feel stretched, you feel emo like you feel worn out, you feel like exhausted, give the universe gratitude, give the universe all of your gratitude and bless yourself and bless the universe for ripping you out of the mouth of total destruction. And then give yourself some relief and give yourself a chance, a chance to repair because especially as you're evolving really quickly because even though the universe has done all of that it's still on a, on top of that will say yes we pulled you out of this yes you might be sore from it yes we're calling you to do a lot but we're also going to we did it all for your highest and greatest good but we also are going to give you in addition to that the space the time the quiet to heal what we just saved you from you don't even know what it could have been like that's what I feel and even as I am looking at these cards I feel the amount of danger I feel how left it could have gone and I feel called to not even talk about it I feel called to it's like a horror it could be a horror movie for some of you guys it's that serious it could have been a horror movie you don't even know for others of you it's like you know a relationship it's a career it's a move it's travel it's being slowed down when you want to speed up like you don't realize how much the universe is protecting you how much God the divine is protecting you the same things that you are so attracted to are the same things that's like a monster like an angler fish I don't know if you guys have ever seen the angler fish but I just saw that in my third eye like this ocean this abyss this like fish and it has this little tiny light that dangles in the bottom of the water and it's using it as bait. Now, have you ever seen an anglerfish is terrifying, but it acts as like bait and then some people or some fish will go to it and then get snapped up and that's it, that's the end. Many of you guys are being pulled away from the jaws of the monster, being, jaw, being pulled from total destruction, total, you know, being totally off your path totally redirected in a, in a direction you don't need to go to and as if that wasn't enough being protected and re-guided the universe the, di the divine is so freaking generous that it then says in this quiet space I am going to give you the chance to heal yourself as if we deserved it like to me that just blows my mind that's a reading that, that's what's coming through for the through for this reading right now for me that I'm just like wow okay Wow, okay, wow. I didn't even see these cards, but moving forward into the future, we have quiet time. And hold on, hold on, let me see what else, because I feel like 
I need to see this. All there is to love has been there all along. When you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. Wow. Because you've grown. That's what I'm saying, you guys. Everyone is doing their best. You are doing your best. The energy around you is doing your best. It may not make sense to you, but in this quiet space, what I've been saying is you need to rest yourself because if you've been growing all this time, like all types of growing, no matter how abundant it is, no matter how much of a blessing it is, or no, no matter how uncomfortable it is, it's you it, it's painful it has to be painful because you're growing emotionally you're growing mentally you're growing spiritually you're growing physically you're growing and a part of a part of that is about okay look wow i can't make this shit up so we have the hanged man card here too which is about i always see the hanged man as surrender but i see it as resting in the hands of the divine resting in a space the space and then we have the card grounding. So centering yourself, bringing yourself back down to earth, resting in, in the palm of the universe, resting in your sacred space, resting in quiet, resting in child's pose in your yoga class, resting under a tree, resting um, after a bike ride, you know, like resting, going on vacation, whatever it is that you have to do. That is the biggest offering here. That is the biggest that is the best thing that you can do moving forward into the future. Like that is where you're headed right now is allowing yourself to rest. And in addition to that, as, as if again, we deserved any more, you know what I mean? Resting is going to be the thing that allows the seed to set. And that is when you have, you'll find yourself right where you belong because you've surrendered. You, you surrendered your need to strive to force to push and you ground yourself you're rooting yourself right where you truly belong and the strength card is you know the power of this tiny seed unfolding growing gentle unfolding itself pulling towards the light like where, where we saw earlier with the sun card and the star card at the very top because literally I go where you go it's like a, a plant that follows the Sun it just goes where light is it goes where life is and vitality but it's in that quiet space it seems like nothing is happening but everything is happening that's what happens with the hanged man when the hanged man approaches you're coming to life again and meanwhile while you're grounding yourself while you're being quiet while you're doing your best and all your best is enough that's all you need to do all there is to love, all there is that you need is right here, right now. That's when you're going to get the offering. That's when you're going to get the proposal. That's when you're going to get the abundance. The page of, of cups, is it the page? Yeah. The page of cups comes in and he pours into you, like watering you. And then you just grow. And that's abundance. That's money. That's love. That's blessing. That's life. That's vitality. Fill in the blank. Nourishment. Let me be nourished. Why? Because this is where I belong. And the magician card is the seed, literally, the powerful seed that was planted at the time of you watching this video, at the time of the Aries full moon. All of everything, the question, the message, the signs, the signals have called you into a space that says, look, the answer is yes. This is for me. I have everything I needed. I've been saved. I've been redirected. I hear it. This is mine. I am blessed. I bless this situation. I give it what it needs. I relinquish my need to keep digging it up and keep looking to check progress. I take a deep breath and I give myself life. I give myself a chance. I give this a chance. It is going to grow. It is growing. It will grow. Yeah. Many of you guys are being redirected. Whoa. Many of you guys have been redirected. But this word, this card here, dwell. Dwell. Think about that. Dwell. What does that mean? To dwell means to, to stay in a space of, to reside in to embed yourself within. 
it's, you know, sometimes when we think, stop dwelling on those negative thoughts, stop, stop dwelling in the past, it's because you're living in the past, you've planted your seed in the past, you've planted your seed in sadness, you planted your seed in stagnation. Again, so many of you guys are being redirected and rerouted away from things that you don't even know could have been your ultimate destruction. The universe is so like generous in how it redirects us. It's like birds in a tree and like something shakes the tree and they all like, whoa, they're like startled and they have to fly away. But that tree, like if they would have stayed there, maybe they could have been shot by a hunter. Like I know that sounds so drastic, but for real. Maybe they would have stayed there. Maybe by them being shook and shaken away from that tree and away from their nest, they find more fertile ground. They find more abundant space. They find more food. Life is easier. That's you guys. You're being shook. You're being shook away from the things that you were trying to dwell within. You're being moved away from things that you were trying to plant your seed in and you don't realize it was like not like that's not how it should have been like that space that you're in was not meant to last like for a very good reason you're being called to bigger and better that being said keep your movements now moving forward keep it simple sacral chakra root chakra give yourself simple foods give yourself a simple schedule don't take on more than you need to that's a part of this um, offering to the universe is with the hanged man moving forward is not needing to do anything more. It's like doing what works. Less is more, right? Quality, not quantity. There's guiding children and purification. Some of you guys might actually be working with children and planting seeds for children. That actually might be what's, what that seed represents for you. Others, it's the sacral chakra, the root chakra, rooting yourself. As I'm saying this, I'm like getting a whiff of like earth and flowers. It reminds me of Hawaii. It reminds me of fertile ground and nourishment and growth and blessing and abundance. As I'm saying it, a lot of you guys are doubting it. There's going to be moments where it's going to be the vision that you have for yourself is so beautiful and so lush that you question it. It's like, have you seen the movie, um, with Sandra Bullock in it. I forget the name of the movie. Bird Kate? The Bird... Ugh. I forget. But it's pretty much... It's on Netflix and she's blindfolded and she has to navigate blindly through these waters. Not... And she doubts because of her experiences because she's protecting her children because she's protecting these kids. She doesn't even give them names. That's how much she's trying to protect them from emotionally becoming close to certain things. But if it was her way, if it wasn't for her man guiding her initially, it was the, he, he provided it, unfortunately, he was like the ultimate sacrifice, like truly the hanged man, right? But it was his vision and his heart that was implanting this seed of, listen, there is something out there. I had this vision that there is a sanctuary. There's a place that we belong. We're going to get there but it's a feeling and she says that's not real you're telling these kids something that may not happen it's like impossible he's like it's not impossible i had a vision so she blindly follows even in after he dies she continues to honor this vision that he he had and because she saw signs she heard signs so she's like i'm gonna follow this as i'm saying this a mockingbird just flew up but she and i have chills as i'm saying this but she, she says, I'm gonna you know, follow this. I'm gonna honor his, his memory. And, as soon, and finally, throughout all of this craziness, she blindly navigates through this, scared as all hell. But she just could not dwell in the past. She couldn't stay there. If she had her, if, if left her own devices, she would stay in that space of fear constantly. Those children would live in fear for the rest of their lives and have no experiences, never probably be able to play, never have trees, never have music, never have other people around them. But it's this vision, these signs that pulled her out of where she thought that she wanted to dwell that would have been so barren, so desolate. And when she gets there, there's all these other people that are thriving in the middle of the apocalypse. That's you guys. Discovering the truth. Yep, you stand in the light of truth. It's, you, you know what the truth is? The truth starts from the questions that you're asking yourself. 
That is the truth. There is something out there. That is the truth. It's not just right here, right now, what you're dwelling in, what you can see right now. The truth is, is that this tiny acorn will and could and will grow into something much bigger. That is the actual truth. All of these people, all of this thriving energy. Then we have, wow. Desert passage, trust that there's a divine plan. So many of you guys are navigating through this, just following the stars. It's like the three wise men that knew that the prophet was gonna be born and they just followed the stars. Literally, the stars, the sun and the star card to get to where it was that they were being called to go. Wow, fellow travelers, support is all around you. You guys are on the road. You guys are on the path. The, stop, truth, truth, that is the truth. This is what you need to hear. This is what you need to know. This is confirmation, this is clarity. These tiny birds around, around this card, I see them as the birds that are around us now. The birds that were in the sanctuary when Sandra Bullock finally got to that end destination. What movie is it, you guys? I can't remember. But they're calling out. Listen to them. Wow. Look, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, when I see this, and the Ace of Pentacles, this is, I plant the seed where I belong, right here, right now. I'm gonna hold on to this because I cherish it. And also, as I'm saying this, I feel as though this is a reservation. This is like when you put a reservation on a table before you get to that table because you want to enjoy that meal and the restaurant says, yes, your name is written on this. So many of you guys, your destiny, where it is that you belong, has your name written all over it. It is just for you. And it's the traveler, the fool card, who starts the journey into this next cycle, who gets there, who gets to that destination. I just got bit by something while I was sitting here. And lastly, I don't know if I'm doing too much right now, but these are the cards that I pulled. <sighs> yeah. You don't need to worry. Start where you are with all that you have right now, the full card. It's not about being right. That means that it's not about what you know is right or wrong or what you know is true. Because what you, what you think is true and what you think is right is going to blow open into a whole nother portal. It's about your feeling, it's about being open, it's about being guided, it's about being faithful. In all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, like, is, do I do this, do I do that? Is this right, is this wrong? Do I go here, what's this? Two different viewpoints are pitted against each other. In the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, the fool, but who went the greater length in considering the other's perspective? Don't you agree? This is about considering the potential, the perspective, changing your perspective. The hanged man reminds you that you don't know all, that there is a divine order to everything. Relinquish your need, relinquish your need to be right. Relinquish your need to know all. Surrender to that and then prepare to be astounded because there's surprises. You won't even know, you'll get to that final destination, you'll be like, whoa, and then, turn on your love light, you're being guided. The light from your heart is guiding you. Go back to that space, turn it on all the way. Crank it up. When you see it, when you feel it, be like, I hear you. Turn it up, focus on it. The more that you focus on it, the more that you hear it, the more that you spend time with it within your sacred space, the brighter that light will become. Golden opportunity and sorceress. This represents, again, this door that's opening up, but Sorceress is about the Magician card. It's your power to, again, ignite things up, to light things up. Ascending the, ma ascending the mountain, keep going forward. Don't stop. There's a golden opportunity. There's magic that is happening. There's an unfolding here. Choosing your path, all is possible. You know the way to go, so it's up to you to decide, like, this is what I want for myself. I choose to do this. I am, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to choose to dwell in the past. I'm not going to choose to dwell in lackluster. I step into my destiny. This is this new cycle, this new stage, this new phase. And it started all with a question. It started all with me asking this. It started all with me wanting more for myself. Why did I want it? Because the universe, the stars, fate, karma called me to ask this initially. 
this might be connected to some of you guys' work, but I feel like really what this means is that what you choose is what you will work into, what you will invest in, what we, you will see grow, what it will just grow all on its own. That's, let me read this. I'm, I'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work, my light, my energy, my love. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. Literally, that's like a little, little seed that plants itself, that embeds itself. <laughs> I just looked up and Franklin's knocked out right now, just lying in the grass, just basking in all his little glory. But anyways, may all who, who need me find me. So me planting myself here, this tiny seed, they will find me, they will water me, they will nourish me, they will come. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. Hanged man. And then we have the Page of Wands. This is, he's coming in. Wow, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands. This is coming in. This is coming in and it's fast. It's ignited. It's passionate. It's yours. Blessings to each of you guys. I mean, I'm so filled from that reading. I wasn't expecting it to be all that it was. A lot of you guys want me to tell you exactly what to do. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to do that in on my YouTube channel. I'm not going to do it in these general readings because this reading, I set intention that it's for all who need to hear it. But if we need more specific time, more specific readings, I'm available for that now while I'm preparing to be a little bit more available. I do have appointments that I had opened that got booked up <laughs> within like 15 minutes. But I'm gonna open up for more readings in the future because it gives me so much life, but right now I'm just listening to spirit. I'm listening to God, I'm listening to the divine, I'm listening to the birds, I'm listening to my angels, I'm listening to my spirit and taking my time because there's no rush with anything. Yeah, readings should be available for those of you guys that want specific you know, messages, those will be down in the comments below um, or down in the description box. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Please make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because you guys know I'm always going to give you authentic messages, authentic readings. I'm never going to compromise. Never that. So you just know that you are always in good hands here, okay? And it's an honor to be able to serve you. It's an honor to be able to be here and to share my messages in the way that I can with you now and now and now, and now, in the moment, then, in the moment, now, in the moment to come. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.